Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you an actual real job advert. Now I couldn't believe this myself. I just was scrolling through a list of jobs and suddenly I saw this. Banning Dental Group. Um, I thought, what? Um, now I, I respect that it's probably based on the na someone's surname or something like that but you have to understand that in the English language for those learning English banning means like trying to prevent something or making something illegal for example um, you know um, in Islamic countries they um, when they became Islamic they started banning alcohol um, various things you know the government is going is going to start banning the sales of cars that use only petrol um in a few years banning tends to mean making something illegal or making it not allowed it doesn't have to be illegal for example you might work for a company that might ban certain practices they may not be illegal but they might not be allowed in that particular company for whatever reason right um you know for example there might be a company that um you know only sells vegan products and they ban all meat products for example it's not illegal for a company to sell meat products generally over here um quite depend on the meat and how they produce it and other issues but that's never matter but there may be companies which ban certain things. So I was absolutely astonished to see a company named Banning Dental. Now, do they really want to stop people going to the dentist? So I actually looked into this and it seems that they actually are a dentist from what I can work out. Um, I looked on further details and they've got things like a dental nurse, an implant dentist, just cosmetic dentist, these are jobs which actually I have available at their company. And I also looked on their official website and it's got, there you go, this is their logo, Banning Dental Group. Um, I must admit. We are a most family dental practice that lives by the values of Scandinavian healthcare. Look, this is Britain. This is a British website. It's got .co.uk. Why do you think um, British people are going to care at all about Scandinavian healthcare? Do you think Scandinavian healthcare is world famous? You know, people think to themselves, you know what, I really hope my dentist has Scandinavian values. I don't get it, sorry. Um, you know, I really don't get it. Um, I mean, it seems like they've provided, in my opinion, a lot of waffle here. We aim to delight you during your dental visits. Um, well, maybe I'm a bit stupid, but when I went to the dentist, I wasn't particularly interested in being delighted. I just wanted them to stop the pain as quickly as they could and do whatever they had to do to my teeth. Um, I wasn't particularly interested in being entertained or them telling lots of jokes or... Um, you know, seeing beautiful wallpaper or seeing artwork on the walls. I just wanted them to fix my safe. Um, for this reason, we provide a dedicated treatment coordinator to every patient. What? Um, a dedicated treatment coordinator? When I went there, they'd just tell you to go in a room and say, oh yes, so-and-so, we'll see you now, or something like that. I forget, because it was a it was probably many years ago um, I don't have many teeth left to be honest um, and you know I would just go into a certain room and that would be it I don't know what you need a dedicated 
treatment coordinator for, but never mind. Your coordinator is on hand to support you through your journey to a new smile. Maybe they've got fancy words these days, but when I walked in there, they just had a dentist assistant and a dentist. Uh, um, all our clinicians have been handpicked for their world-class expertise. Um, I just expect them to be a dentist, you know, I don't... They don't have to be the best in the world. They just have to be good enough to practice in Britain, to be honest. But never mind. Um, attention to detail and level of care. We also believe that dentistry needs to be affordable and easily accessible. Blah, blah, blah. As a result, your visit is so much more than just a dentist appointment. It's a real treat. Um, I'm not interested in it being a treat. I, don't, I didn't go to the dentist to have any kind of excitement or enjoyment. Uh, the nearest I got to enjoyment in the dentist, I think, was I think they had some magazines you could read while you wait. That's about it. That's all I needed. I wasn't interested in being treated. Maybe it's a different kind of dentist. Maybe it's somebody who goes there because they say, um, you know, I want my teeth to look um, multicoloured or some strange stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's people who want specialist things being done. I just went there because I wanted the pain to be ended. But maybe they have do special cosmetic stuff. I haven't looked into them in enough detail. Um, forget about uncomfortable, frightening procedures, unpleasant dental visits and painful needles. At our high street dental practice, we invest in cutting edge dental technology. Um, well, what if uh, the painful needle is what you truly need? I don't know. I'm not an expert in dentistry, but, you know, I haven't been for many years. But, you know, um, you would tend to go there and they'd say, we're going to stick this needle in you and it's going to make your mouth go very, very numb. And it's going to feel very, very weird. And it will feel very weird on the bus home as well, if you can even allow to go on the bus home. Um you know, it, it, you know, maybe life has changed, but I don't know. To me, if you need a needle, you need a needle. But never mind. There you go, guys. Utterly strange. Um, banning dental group. Maybe there is some. They've done this on purpose, and I don't understand the joke. But really, um, maybe their imp their implication is if you go to them once, you won't need to go to see the dentist ever again because they're so amazing. I have absolutely no idea, but it just seems a really stupid name for a dentist to me. Banning dental sounds a bit stupid to me, but maybe they're smarter than I know. Anyway, guys, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.